Hello everyone, and welcome to Muscle Gerbil Plays Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight, developed by Team Cherry, uh, a little independent studio. This game is a Metroidvania style game. Now what do I mean by that? Well, it's a game that traditionally has a large open world map that begins linearly. You can only go one way, but as you become more powerful, as you gain new abilities, you're able to open up other parts of the map. Of course, the name comes from the Metroid series from Nintendo and the Castlevania series from Konami, specifically Symphony of the Night. That Castlevania game was the one that really, you know, did the non-linear style gameplay. The first, you know, Castlevania 1, 2, 3, Super Castlevania 4, and Rondo of Blood were all very just linear. Except for 3. 3, you had a choice of paths, which was cool. And of course, Metroid's known for getting new abilities, being able to go back to places you've already been, but were blocked from entering and using those abilities. This game is also notoriously difficult. There are some segments of this game I've, I've heard that are very, very tough. But if you've been following the channel, you know that I have recently beaten Cuphead, which was very, very difficult as well. I was in triple-digit deaths in that game. So hopefully it honed my skills, and I'm ready to take on this challenge. So let's get into it, shall we? In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls that you, the challenge, met. Under palest watch, you taught, we changed. Base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hollow Nest by Manaman the Teacher. I've got a little lore right at the beginning of the game. Oh, ooh. What is this? Uh, it's never good when a chained entity begins to awaken in a flash of light. Ah, here we have the titular Hollow Knight on one of his moon night, moonlit night strolls. Alright, jumping right into it. Ooh, that's quite the impact. Alright, it appears we're in some kind of underground path towards that big city of light. Got a little, little sword here to swipe with. I picked up some currency. Oh, I can't crouch. I can look down, though. No, obviously, I'm taking too long. The game has to explain to me how to jump. All right, a little platforming. What are these, just insects? Am I tiny? Oh, all right. Looks like a lot of currency. Alright, can't do anything in there. Just gonna move up. Oh, that's cool, the environments are destructible. Oh! That 
Stalag... Stalactite. Stalactite? Stalactite almost got me. Stalagmites are the ones on the ground. Oh, cool, I can break those. Inspect. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold circle to focus soul and heal. Alright, let's try that out. Oh, you power you power up Dragon Ball style. That's cool. No get away from me. Okay, I can swipe up. Can I swipe down? Yep, I can swipe down in the air. Okay. I'm gonna trim the grass there. Oh! Alright. Does that count as a death? No, it, it'll probably only count as a death once I run out of the five little masks up top. Alright. So that's a quick little lesson there. Don't just rush into rooms. Make sure you can see the threats. Oh, I did not take damage from that. That's odd. Get that currency. Just gonna keep on heading up. Come on. Let's try and kite this thing into a more manageable position. Ah, uh, precision. Yeah, take that. What is that? Oh! Those must be like, uh, like soul hearts from Binding of Isaac. So you're not limited to just the five, um, you know, health, health masks? I'm gonna call them health masks. Oh! Alright, well that was a trap I didn't see coming. Alright, we got some spikes and stuff falling. Looks like there's a path down here. Ooh, I don't think I can make that jump. Nope. There's no way I can make that jump. I don't want this to cave in on me. Alright, we're free. Alright, that's where the floor... That's where the floor gave out. Another thing to inspect. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom. Hollow nest. Hollow nest. Hollow nest. That's a big door. Ooh, you gotta really gotta smack, smack that thing a lot to get it to open. Um. Okay, if I hold down, I can see what's below me, but there's nothing. So leap of faith. Alright, that leap of faith worked. It's a stealth mission. Now ah, they got street lamps. Alright, looks like we've reached... Dirtmouth. The fading town. Hey, I like your mask. But you have a frowny face. What's going on, buddy? Oh, there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth 
glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Ah, well, I could rest. Ah, take a little rest on the bench. All right, so he's the only guy left in town. Everybody else from town is jumping into a well. Seems like a smart plan. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Zelda and Cornifer. I want a map now. All right, so now we have a shop that we have to come back to to get to get a map, I guess. I'm gonna jump over the well, see what's over here. Because that's where the game wants you to go. But I want to see what's over here. What's this? Stone door with a simple lock. And I don't have any keys. Nope. Just got a, got a nail. That's it. Alright, looks like we're going down the well. Ooh. Forgotten Crossroads. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa there, sir. I'm just minding my own business here. Alright, you take three hits to take down. Everything else is only taking two. Alright, looks like I can go to the right. Let's check out the left. Wait for you to move out of my path. I wonder what this currency is going to be used for. Well, there's a lot going on here. These things are rickety. I don't like that. I feel like they're going to just drop. Alright, look before you leap, kids. You know? Oh, I'm definitely going to need a map for this game. This game looks like there's a lot of paths. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hallownest descend through the verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There are all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. Ah, oh, sweet. There's truth? Alright, I, I want to know the truth. Oh, what is that? Whoa! Okay, dude. Come on. Oh, I can't hurt him. I'm probably going to need a projectile to actually do damage to that thing because he's just going to turtle. He's just going to turtle up when I try and hit him. He's going to tank. All right, we're just going to keep going down then. Am I at the bottom yet? Hmm, I kind of want to go back up and see where that other path leads, but let's just keep going down. Down seems to be the way to go. Is that an anteater? Hmm, ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. 
I'm a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? I absolutely would. I'm gonna keep the economy going. Alright, I acquired a map. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Zelda. Oh, he's one of the dudes from the shop, up top. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dartmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. <laughs> Alright, cool stuff. <laughs> ah, I gotta hold the button, not just press it. Okay. Not a whole lot of information on that map. <laughs> Can't go that way. Let's do a little more gardening. Does it not? Oh, I don't have a compass, so it doesn't show me where I am. Uh, alrighty then. Ah, let's just power up a little bit. I want to go this way. Oh, what are those things in the background? Oh, they're coming into the foreground now. Alright, cannot kill those things. Those are... Oh! Can I make that jump? Nope. No double jump. Alright, so I don't have a double jump at the moment. I'm guessing there's bound to be some sort of double jump eventually. What are you? Ah! You have a weird butt! Get away from me with your weird butt! You're spawning little butt creatures! What is this? Uh, you're welcome? Is that the end of the road? I'm guessing I'm gonna die if I jump in that. For science! Yep. That's fine, we'll just de-dragon ball power up there. Alright, looks like we gotta get past these guys again. Hoo-hoo, that was close. It's a very odd underground cavern. Alright, there's bound to be something over here then. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff up here. Because the map was not that expensive. It was only 30... I don't even know what these are. Like, what are these? Berries? Because they kind of look like, you know, blackberries. Uh-oh. The music changed. And I'm locked. I'm locked here. No, 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 no. Don't don't get trapped. Try and stay in the center. Alright. Kind of your character action game gauntlet. Where they lock you in a room until you beat all the enemies. I can, I can live with that. Doesn't look like there's fall damage, which is good. Oh, can't jump through the platforms. Hmm, do I want to go up or down? I'm going to go down. See what this holds for us. 
Ah, more of the crazy worms. Uh, there's more money down here. Okay, my sword knocks him back. Alright, nothing's really too threatening at the moment besides those big worm things. Can't jump up there. Alright, pretty easy pattern. Ah, I don't have any kind of, like, magnet power to draw those in. We're just gonna try and get as much cash as we can. As I destroy all the property. <laughs> just a menace. I don't know why I keep checking the map. I have no idea where I am still, even with a map. Okay, there's nothing really over there. Oh! I'm not going to be able to get back up if I go down there. That's a beginner's trap right there. That's the definition of a beginner's trap. Yeah, because I cannot jump that high, right? Nope. Not, not even going to risk it. Oh, but I can jump up there somehow? That's cool. Hmm, I should probably start looking at these little markers. Have I been here before? No. See what this is. A toll machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert Geo. Oh, my currency's called Geo. Yeah, I'll pay the toll, why not? 50 Geo. Um, what did that do? Ah, it's a beetle. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years and I've forgotten much. But the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of Hallenist. If you want to travel them, Hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. Alright, so we got fast travel. Uh, I'm going to head back to Dirtmouth. And I'm going to check out that shop. Because uh, the anteater said that the shop was going to be open. Thanks, Beetle. Ah, we're getting fancy now. We got elevators. Uh, how do I get out of here? I gotta send the elevator back down just to get out? Alright, the shop was over here. Oh yeah, the door's open and the lights are on. Cool. Bafanada. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with. But what a surprise! He's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now... Let's see what's here for me to sell. What you got for me? I cannot afford... I can afford some stuff. A bench pin. Uh, they mark benches on the map. Uh, something about cocoons. 
shopkeepers, stagway stations, hot springs. Hmm. Oh, I need 220 to buy the compass. And what is this? So I need 340 Geo to really make use of the map. Well. We have a goal in mind. We gotta start collecting some more Geo. So we've entered into the underground. Into the well. Seeking, seeking out something. Fame, fortune, or just the truth. Our adventure has just begun. Oh, I thought I could run for a second with a double tap. Alright, gonna stop getting sidetracked. Our adventure has just begun. We're gonna continue to explore this labyrinth. Probably meet some more fun creatures along the way. And see what dangers this labyrinth can hold for us. And we're gonna do that all next time.